Hello, and welcome to the Hall Thruster Diagnostics Visualization Team video. Before I begin, I would like to state that diagnostics in this context refers to a tool you used on the thrusters prior to launch to confirm its efficiency and where to intelligently place them on the spacecraft. Here you are viewing our website that we've created to demonstrate our visualizations. This is a home page with general information about the mission, the asteroid, the spacecraft that is going to be used on this mission. Moving on to this tab, we have our own rendition of the Psyche spacecraft, and as you can see, where the hull thrusters are here. Moving onwards to the 3D models tab, we have the decomposed views of our diagnostics tools. The hull thruster animations, which simulate where the tool would be, as you can see here, during the diagnostics process and the ion animation which talks about how the ion interacts with the diagnostic tools. So now we're going to go step by step through this. Starting with the decomposed view of the retarding potential analyzer, otherwise throughout the rest of this video referred to as RPA, we see all the single components laid out here. If we double click on them we get a pop-up box giving us information about that specific piece. Scrolling down, we go over more information. These are bullet points giving general information about the 3D model shown. And this information is not information that refers to any specific piece, like this pop-up refers to that specific piece. Moving on, we are going to now look at the RPA Hall Thruster animation. Here you can see the RPA inside the ions coming out of the thruster, and this simulates what the diagnostic would look like. If we go to more information, we have some tabs here that give off general information about the diagnostics process, and you also see a graph that discusses the that uh, gives sample output of the diagnostic test, and this is to inform the user of how the information is used. Moving on, we have our ion animation. See the ion here? We're going to show how it interacts with the RPA. So you see the free electrons are filtered out by the electron repulsion grid. The low energy ion is filtered out by the ion retarding grid. Animation is now reset to show the high ion, energy ion. Again, free electrons are filtered out by the electron repulsion grid. The high energy ion this time, however, passes through and will collide with the collector. High energy ion collides with the collector, causing the free electrons to be lost. The electron suppression grid will knock the lost electrons back to the collector. And we restart. Going back to our 3D models page, this is the exact same process for the planar probe going down. This has been our video, and we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.